Hello CT students, in this tutorial, let us use the spreadsheet table to perform the algorithm given in this pseudocode. So far we have been using cards and now we are going to use the rows of a spreadsheet. Each row here, if you observe, it corresponds to one of the cards in the paragraph data set. So, this is it, it is a pronoun, this letter count is 2 and this is a card number. So we have the word, it's part of speech, letter count and serial number. Now in this particular pseudocode, we are first initializing two variables called long noun and short noun and we are initializing them both to 0. So let's do that first. And now there's a mention of tables while table 1 has more rows. So this is the table 1 here. There's also a table 2 that is mentioned. So that table 2 we are going to keep it under and it's currently empty. It has the same columns but it is currently empty. It has no cards in it. Right. So what we are going to do is we are going to read the first row x in table 1 which is basically like reading the first card in pile 1. So this is the first card. So it is the first word and this is the whole first row. We are reading this row and in this row x dot part of speech. So this is the row x and we are looking for part of speech cell in this particular row which is our pronoun. If that is equal to noun if that part of speech is noun, then we have to go into this block. But this is a pronoun, so I am not going to go into this block. I am going to come out of this block and now I am going to move this row x to table 2. So I am going to take this row and I am moving it to table 2. Now that row is not there. And while table 1 still has more rows, so table 1 still has rows. So we are going to do this again. Again we are checking for the part of speech. And there is no noun here. So again don't do anything inside the if block. We just come out of the if and we move this card to table 2. So now we go back to our next row because table 1 still has rows. And now we have a noun in the part of speech. We read this card and it has it is a noun. Now we check if the letter count is greater than 7. It's not. It's 6. So we don't go into this if block. This if block we don't look into it because the condition is not satisfied. And because that if block is not used we now go to the else block here which has to be executed and so short noun should now become short noun plus 1. So it was 0 earlier, now it becomes 1. And then we come out of that block and we move our row to table 2. So here we are, we have 3 rows done, they are in table 2 now, they have been moved away. Now let's go through the remaining rows here and we again have a noun. And this time it is 7, but 7 is not good enough. We need greater than 7 for our letter count. So again we go to the else block. And in the else block we are supposed to increase the short noun count to 2. So we now have 2 short nouns and 0 long nouns so far. And again pick this row and go down. Put it in the table 2. Now back here. And here we have a noun which is 11 letters long so we finally have a long noun so this condition is satisfied so we should execute this code inside which is going to make long noun equal to 1 so we pick up this again and we drop it in table 2 now verb is not a noun so this goes to table 2 now Adjective is not a noun, go to table 2. Preposition is not a noun, go to table 2. 
verb again table 2 noun again pronoun again sorry so table 2 directly no code to execute now we have a noun and so we enter this code here and we check if the letter count is greater than 7 it's not it is 4 so we now have to execute this code so short noun becomes 3 take this row and move it to table 2 table 2 now has 11 rows and then again we have a pronoun doesn't matter off it goes to table 2 now a verb doesn't matter off it goes to table 2 now we have a noun whose letter count is only 6 so this condition is not satisfied so we do the code inside the else block giving us short noun to be 4 and then we move it to table adverb is not a noun adjective is not a noun preposition is not a noun article is not a noun and now we have a noun again so part of speech is noun so thus we enter this if block so checking this condition we observe that the letter count is 8 which is greater than 7 so we now execute this code here which makes our long noun to be now 2 and once that is done we don't enter the else block we just go to move this row to table 2 so now we shall take it down to table 2 preposition is again not a noun of it goes to table 2 article is again not a noun so table 2 and adjective so we take it down to table 2 now we have a noun so this condition is satisfied so we now execute this code here for that the condition is is the letter count greater than 7 it is not it is equal to 7 so we do not execute that if block now we go to the else block where we increment short noun so short noun now becomes 5 and after that we move the card x to table 2 again and now we have a preposition so this is our table 2 now we have a noun again with a letter count 8 so that will give us long noun to be incremented and long noun now becomes 3 and then we take this row again to table 2 and then we have a conjunction which is of not much use so down here then here we have a noun whose letter count is 6 so we now have to increment short noun by 1 making it 6 and then we pull it down to table 2 and then we have a pronoun so we drag it down to table 2 and this is a verb and this is an adjective this is a preposition This is a verb. Again a preposition. And here we have an article which we are pulling down to table 2. And the next one is a noun. So we enter this part of the code. And we check the letter count 
which is not greater than 7. So we now increment short noun again. So short noun is now 7. Then we again drag it down to table 2 and drop it there. We now again have a noun whose letter count is 4 less than 7. So we increment short noun and then drag this row down and place it over there. Here we have a preposition again which we shall drag and place in table 2. We now have a noun with 4 letters. So short noun is now incremented to 9 and this row is carried down to table 2. And then we have a conjunction which again is dragged down to table 2. And now we come across another noun which is of letter count 10. So we execute this piece of code. Long noun is now incremented to 4. And this row is taken to table 2. Drop there. Now this is a pronoun. This is a verb. Preposition. Then we have an article which goes off. This is an adverb. And now we have a noun again, which is of letter count 7, which is not greater than 7. So we go into the else block and we increment short noun to 10. Then we have a preposition that goes down. Now we have a noun which is only 6 letters, so short noun is incremented to 11. And then we have an article. And here it is an adjective which will also be brought down. Then we have another adjective. Now a noun again and its letter count is 8. Now we go into this part of the code which gives us long nouns are 5. This is an article. Goes down. An adjective, go down again. Here we have a noun again with a letter count of 11. So we execute the incrementing of long noun, which gives us long noun is now 6. Then we drop this row back in table 2. Here we have this pronoun, which we will drop off in table 2. And now we have a noun which is only 5 letters long. So we increment short noun to 12. And thus we take this noun and drop it off into the table 2. And when we go back we have another noun whose letter count is 7. But 7 is not greater than 7. So we increment short noun and make it 13. And then we drop off this noun in table 2. And when we go back, we have a conjunction. So we again take it directly to table 2. And then we go back, we have a noun which is letter count 10. So it's long. So we now increment long noun and make it 7. Then we carry off this noun. 
Now this is a preposition which we will go and drop in table 2. And same with a pronoun. It goes into table 2. And also same with an adjective. This is also taken into the table 2 and dropped over there. One more adjective. We do the same thing. We drop it off in table 2. And then we have a noun whose letter count is 4 which means short noun should be incremented and upon incrementing it becomes 14 and then we carry it off and drop it in table 2 and now when we get back the table is now empty which means this while loop condition is not satisfied and so we go to the end of the while loop where there is no more code left so we are now done with our task and we can now say that there are 14 short nouns and 7 long nouns in this particular data set. Thank you.